Well, here we are to step number two. Are you, are you still with me? Great. What we want to do is we want to round this inside corner here with a radius of 15 millimeters. So let's go back to your fillet command. And again, if you don't see this set of icons, just simply touch the right mouse button. You need to go to your toolbars, modify, and you'll get these set of icons. What I want to do right now is type in R for radius, do an enter, and let's type in 15. And we have to do uh, a, a right mouse button. Nope, oh, I was too close to the icon. That happens, doesn't it? That's the right mouse button, so you can repeat the command, and now it says select the first object. We're going to touch this line and this line right here, and you can see the round coming in. Now, the amazing thing about, uh, about AutoCAD, if we were to erase, not that we're really wanting to, I just wanted to see this. Even though we rounded the block, notice that the block is still one, or we, we rounded this particular rectangle, it's still one element. So even though we're rounding the corners, it doesn't lose the information, it's still related. So we're going to take advantage of that as well. All right. Now, I'm going to cancel this. Uh, just uh, Again, if I touch the right mouse button, I would lose it. So I'm going to just do an undo real quick. What I want to do here is I want to take this and copy this again uh, up, five, uh, up 5 millimeters. So let's go do a copy command. Here's the icon. Touch this anywhere in the edge. You see it's one element. Touch the right mouse button. And when it says the base point, we're going to select this endpoint. You can move your cursor away. And now just go ahead and just type in an at 0, 0, 5. And do an enter. You see that? Very simple. Again, it's because we knew that the Z value, 5, would be going in a straight positive direction. Now, the thing we want to do now is explode. And I know you can say, what? You're going to explode something here? Yeah, I'm going to break the top one. Let's do an explode. And I want you to touch the top edge. This edge right in here, we want to break this up. Touch the right mouse button to end the, uh, the uh, command. And now we're basically going to erase. You can either select the, the eraser here or type in E. And I want you to get rid of these two line segments. Touch the right mouse button. Now, why, why did we take the time to copy this thing if we were intending to break it up anyways? Well, you notice that it was easier for us to draw the, the rectangular shape and round the corner. That's just two commands, and then copy it to the third command. And trying to draw these individual segments, putting an arc in another segment. So, you should always take advantage of things like this that you were used to doing in AutoCAD. You can still do in 3D. Now, we want to be able to connect these lines here. So let's go back to your line command, and we want to go from this endpoint to this endpoint. Re, uh, hit the right mouse button to end it. Repeat it again with the right mouse button, and you're going to click with the left. Now, wh why are we putting a line here? Well, this line right here represents the edge just as it's going to the round. All right, so let's just uh, press the left mouse button at two endpoints and touch the right one to end. Repeat it by touching the, the right mouse button, and you're going to go from the end of the arc here to the end of the arc up on top. Right button to end it, right button to repeat it, and you do it to this end as well. When you're working with wireframe, remember, you are basically drawing wire to represent what you're trying to do. And you are working in 3D space, but you're going to have to put in additional uh, lines representing the rounds, the curves, uh, the, the fillets, uh, as well as the edges. All right, so we've got this much done, uh, and so far everything is working out exactly the way we expect.